Hello everyone continuing our series on types of container we are now going to talk about open container so in open container two things are constant that is pressure and volume you need to keep this in mind and as per ideal gas equation we know pv is equal to nrt so r is constant you know p and v are also constant so n multiplied by t should also be constant which means moles multiplied by temperature is equal to constant which implies n1 t1 should be equal to n2 t2 initial moles multiplied by initial temperature should be equal to final moles multi multiplied by final temperature right so we'll discuss about two situations here the first one is you know n times t is constant which means n is inversely proportional to t so on increasing temperature what will happen moles will decrease as per this relation right so moles will decrease means moles will be expelled out from the container so we'll write n expelled which is equal to n initial minus n final initial moles minus final moles similarly we'll write on decreasing temperature what will happen the opposite will happen which means moles will increase right because moles is inversely proportional to temperature so moles will enter into the container and entered will be n final minus n initial so these are simple relations you need to keep in mind to solve the problems so here is our open container these are moles present n initial which means ni and final moles which is nf so n expelled which is moles that will be expelled when moles will be expelled when temperature will be increased and similarly when moles will enter the container when temperature will be decreased right so the formula for n expelled which is initial moles minus final moles similarly for moles entered it is final moles minus initial moles right so this is the formula and we'll solve problems based upon this so on increasing temperature moles will decrease and on decreasing temperature moles will increase right so let's solve our problem here an open container contains air at 27 degrees celsius which means 300 kelvin right find temperature up to which it should be heated such that one third of air measured initially is expelled out right and in second part find temperature up to which it should be heated so that one third of air measured finally is expelled out so we'll write the solution here so we'll talking about moles expelled which means initial moles minus final moles right so we have to find the temperature up to which should be, it should be heated so it's heated means moles will decrease that's why we wrote an expelled out so how much moles is expelled out one third of initial moles will multiplied by one th by three multiplied by n i so we'll solve it and we'll get final moles is equal to two third of initial moles we'll put the value of mole which is pv by rtf here and two third multiplied by pv by rti here we'll put the value we have been given with the initial condition also here v and p are constant r is also constant so it remains n and t only everything else will be cancelled out so final temperature will be uh, 3 by 2 multiplied by initial temperature which is 300 kelvin so final temperature will come out to be 450 kelvin similarly we'll solve for second part here instead of air expelled out initially we have air expelled out finally so we'll replace ni by nf similarly we'll solve we'll get ni is equal to 4/3rd of nf now let's put the value pv by rti is equal to pv 4/3rd multiplied by pv by rtf pv r these will be cancelled you know p and v are constant since it's a open container on solving we'll get the value of final temperature which is 400 kelvin now moving out to the next problem here we have an open vessel of unknown volume is heated from 300 kelvin to 500 kelvin the volume of air expelled is measured at different condition to determine volume of vessel okay if pressure is constant throughout find the volume of vessel if through 100 ml of air measured at 300 kelvin is expelled out 200 ml of air measured at 500 kelvin is expelled out we know moles expelled is ni minus nf right we have to find the volume n is pv by rt pressure is constant r you know is constant so 300 kelvin to 500 kelvin n is expelled at 300 kelvin right so we'll write this value itself so let's put the value so n expelled is pv by rtf p multiplied by what volume is expelled 200 ml divided by r multiplied by at what temperature 300 kelvin ni which is initial so p v which we have to find out divided by r multiplied by 300 which is initial temperature minus p v which we have to find out multi divided by r multiplied by 500 which is final temperature we'll solve all this we'll get 2 by 3 is equal to v by 300 minus v by 500 right 
सो फर्दर सॉल्विंग इट विल गेट कॉमन फिफ्टीन हंड्रेड तो थ्री फाइव वी माइनस थ्री वी सो वील विल कम आउट टू बी फाइव हंड्रेड एफ एम एल दिस विल बी आर आंसर नाउ विल सॉल्व द सेकेंड पार्ट एंड हियर वी हैव टू हंड्रेड एम एल ऑफ एयर एक्सपेल एट फाइव हंड्रेड कैलविन इंस्टेड ऑफ थ्री हंड्रेड कैलविन सो विल द वैल्यू पी मल्टीप्लाइड बाई टू हंड्रेड एम एल विच इज एक्सपेल आर डिवाइड बाई आर मल्टीप्लाइड बाई फाइव हंड्रेड शुड भी इक्वल टू पी मल्टीप्लाइड बाई वी विच विच वी हैव टू फाइंड आउट विच इज वॉल्यूम ऑफ वेसल डिवाइड बाई आर मल्टीप्लाइड बाई थ्री हंड्रेड पी वी डिवाइड बाई आर मल्टीप्लाइड बाई फाइव हंड्रेड सिमिलरली वील सॉल्व एंड वी गेट दी वैल्यू ऑफ वी सो टू बाई फाइव इज इक्वल टू वी डिवाइड बाई थ्री हंड्रेड माइनस वी डिवाइड बाई फाइव हंड्रेड विच इज टू वी बाई फिफ्टीन हंड्रेड इट विल कम आउट टू बी थ्री हंड्रेड एम एल सो दिस विल बी आर आंसर होप यू अंडरस्टैंड दिस इट वॉज वेरी वेरी सिंपल थैंक यू फॉर वॉचिंग वी हैव कवर्ड ऑल द प्रॉब्लम्स फॉर